So for today, we're going to be looking at week 10. If you guys don't know, I usually do this uh, in the beginning of the week. So that way we can see what the challenges are for that week. And we also are going to look at Eververse since that's what we usually do. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's get into it. So for the first one, we got free booter two open expedition bonus chests and chests from Master Catch Crash. Also spend plundered umbral energy at the star chart to focus on grams throughout the season. This one's not going to be too hard, just a little time consuming, especially for the, wait a minute, treasure chest unlocked. Yeah, for the treasure chest, I mean, if Master Catch Crash gives us more, which is probably going to happen, then that'd be really good. But at this point, probably just open the expedition bonus chest piece. Those probably going to be the best thing to do. Uh, the plundered umbral energies might, might be annoying too as well. Uh, Shaper 3, level <laughs> level seasonal shaped weapons to level 20. This one's going to be annoying. Thankfully, you only have to do it on one. So you should have at least one since they did the changes to the way we get red borders this season. Think fuck because it was super horrible before. Uh, EDZ activities in the EDZ earn, bonus, er, uh, earn progress by completing bounties, patrol, public events, and lost sectors. The way I usually complete these is I grab all the bounties I can from the EDZ or whichever place it is and then just start doing lost sectors and then once you have enough lost sectors you should be able to complete the, the bounties and then from there the bounties usually usually complete it for me but uh, lost sectors would probably be the best portion for this because waiting for public events is not really worth it. Patrols I would probably do while I'm going back in and out so I would probably pick up a patrol but bounties and lost sectors is the main way I do this especially for EDZ some of these take like just less than two minutes so lost sectors is just gonna be your best friend thunderlight defeat targets with arc and or stasis supers combatants defeated in catch crash and expedition and defeated guardians will award bonus progress so I would probably just be using arc for this one because that's what everyone is using right now and honestly this was not going to be too hard uh i would probably do this in catch crash so that way i can get this as well although hmm, it doesn't work with normal catch crash so i'd probably just be doing expeditions because both of these do expeditions uh so these two you can be doing expeditions plus this one you can if you have a shaped weapon just use this or you can go to like one of the raids and just shoot random stuff until it's level 20 which is probably what i'm gonna do and then intended authority acquire the vanguard ornament for mutiny or for cry mutiny and the reward says plane strider i don't know what the fuck plane strider is because that's not the ornament's name so once i get this we'll see even if i i don't even know if i will because getting the ornaments are a bitch so before we look at eververse let me just show you real quick uh, for the EDZ, for new players who don't know, you're going to want to complete like the Widow's Walk, Atrium, Terminus East. These three right here are like some of the fastest ones in the game because it's all one room. Uh, aside from Atrium, Atrium is like a little bit more than just one room. It's like three technically, but actually four if, I, if you want to be really technical. But uh, Terminus East is literally just one room. Uh, Widow's Walk is literally just one room. Um, you can do the other ones, but the fact that you can just load into the Trossland and do Widow's Walk and Terminus, that's what I would be doing. I would most likely be doing Widow's Walk because it's just, for me, faster. Just be aware that the boss at the end has a lot more health for these two right here. For Atrium, you could probably just go in. It's not that hard. It's just for me, I get really impatient because the doors... Uh, take forever to open so i would probably just stick to widow's walk or terminus east and just burn them with whatever i have uh you can do the other ones for sure it's just for me the fact that i can just load into this one and i can go in and out real fast is why i like them eververse let's see yeah, let's see what's eververse so eververse she's selling reanimated verve which is not a shader i like personally it looks like doo-doo butter but i mean if you have the break this and you don't mind you might never know when it comes into clutch. I don't know. Um, we have Murder of Crows. It was you. I don't know what this is. Uh, interesting. Uh, we have Hexing Shell, which is like one of my most hated uh, shells in the game. I think it's stupid. 
and then for the stuff at the bottom we have howling projection i don't know why i'm looking at it uh worm perilous this one looks pretty cool <sighs> i kind of want it but i don't want it that badly so i'm okay uh spider mask which is literally just a mask that looks like spider's head i mean it looks cool definitely not a thousand two hundred cool though but whatever this this motto this modus this is an old ship this is old really old we have hazy future shell which is just a an eight ball it looks like we have peaceful rest which i actually might pick this up i didn't pick it up last year or when it first came out and i do like it it's pretty cool and it's only 700 which is pretty cool we have boo i don't like this one i already know which one it is yeah so this is 3000 bright dust so i would ignore that one we for the shaders we have breezy clear i'm not a fan of this shader yeah i'm not a fan of it um yeah i'm not a fan of it uh we have argent territory oh my god so i i talk about the shader a lot because it's really good um this is one of the few shaders that actually combined armor pieces into one color so i'll give you an example after we're done with this but amethyst veil which is such a good shader if you don't have this shader it's a good black shader it's a really good black shader like obviously you see blue here it does have blue in it but like as you can see like almost all of this is just black so amethyst veil is definitely worth a pickup if you guys don't have it these two for sure are worth a pickup we have lilac bombast which is a good green and pink um i just for me personally every time i think of green and pink it reminds me of the joker and it kind of ruins it for me which is why i'm not a fan of green and pink anymore um so let me actually show you real quick what i'm talking about so let me switch this out and then let's switch the arms out for a specific arm that every time i think about it, it pisses me off a little bit but it's fine i guess because we do have two shaders that combine all of the colors into one if i can find it oh there it is i found it uh right here so as you guys can see from the arms these two have two different colors and it's not just the art like it's it's how they shade it unfortunately so with Argent Territory, it combines both of them into just one silver, which is really cool, especially if you're trying to go for like a Gundam look this this season or this event, because it's a high possibility. This is going to be your best arms to do it with. There is another shader if you don't want to pick it up or you don't like it. There is another shader that actually does combine it, which is the Dreaming Spectrum. Just be aware that it's just these two shaders that I've seen so far. If you do know another shader that combines two pieces that are different colors into one, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know because as of right now, this is all I've I found. I to be fair, I haven't gone through all of the shaders yet, which I probably should do in a day, one of these days. But overall, I think this is really cool. And the shader, you should definitely pick it up. I also will do a Gundam themed uh, armor set, but I would I'll probably not incorporate any of the actual mech armor from this event because aside from the Titan and Warlock, I'm not going to pick up the Hunter. So we'll see. I still haven't gotten people to ask for the specific mech armor video, but to be fair, I just posted that video yesterday, I think. So it's fair that no one has asked for it yet. But if you want to see me do a mech armor video with the halloween set just let me know in the comments below i did say in that video though that if you want me to do the hunter you would have to actually donate that one to me because i am not picking it up for any of these prices so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been showing recently and i'll see you guys later